I'm Ryan Bove. I'm one of the co-founders of Orox Brewing Company. As one of the co-founders of the brewery, you know, I'm primarily responsible for finance and strategy. You know, we're kind of a small company here, and so everyone wears a lot of different hats. Today I'm filming a marketing video. Tomorrow I'll be helping out on the canning line. Yesterday I was on a sales call. So it really depends and it varies by day to day. So I was born in uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I spent a few years living in uh, Baltimore and then moved back to Pittsburgh for the majority of, of my childhood. When I was younger, I liked to be really active. I played all kinds of different sports, uh, basketball, baseball, football, and I still like to be pretty active today. So after high school, I went to Notre Dame where I studied mechanical engineering. Uh, I worked as an engineer for two years designing breathing respirators. Then I was going back to business school at Carnegie Mellon University. It was right about that time where I started getting sick with issues with uh, gluten and which this would eventually kind of lead to the formation of Orox Brewing Company. So my wife and I live in Shadyside, which is you know near Carnegie Mellon University and or a little bit uh, east of downtown Pittsburgh. Uh, you know what I like to do? I still like to stay pretty active. I play ice hockey, do yoga, uh, like to work out, take my dog to the park. Um, you know, kind of just get outside, especially in Pittsburgh with the weather here. When you get a nice sunny day, you gotta get outside and enjoy it while you can. So we started this brewery because of a, you know, a personal challenge that Doug and I had finding, you know, great tasting gluten-free beer. And, and to be honest, that a lot of that is still, you know, that's a personal motivation of mine, but it's also even more beneficial and helpful when you see uh, how the work you're doing impacts others. We have so many people come through the taste room that have a similar... All right, you wanna try again? Yeah, we have so many people that come through the tasting room that have a similar story, you know, to myself or, or to Doug's where, you know, they've kind of loved and lost or they've never really had great tasting gluten-free beer. And that's one of the strongest motivations, just to see like the joy on someone's face when they're able to have beer again, or, you know, when someone's able to enjoy a night out with their friends and kind of partake in, you know, what really is an American pastime, enjoying a great beer with friends, you know, that is what kind of keeps us going and keeps us motivated through the ups and downs of starting your own business. Mm -hmm.